So Manu is asking next week is which subject is? Which subject is? Radiology. Oh. Once more, it is another pictorial essay. Radiology. They will give you very good questions for you to remember. 200 sure short questions from which that 5 questions in exam are going to come. That is the deal. Huh? Paper out. So, such a masala question, not masala, masala is uh, unnecessary questions to trouble your classmates in the reading room. But uh, essential questions in radiology. Next week, subject test, we will have a great deal of discussion. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> so, in the, you got the papillary lesions. 55 year old, flaccid bullet, slow healing erosions on the head and trunk. So, Flaccid bullets, oral lesions which are seen in pemphigus vulgaris. But what is not in fitting is uh, 55 is old age according to dermatologists. Old age is uh, synonymous with bullous pemphigoid, but she is uh, uh, she is not fitting into it. Uh, just don't go only with age. Eh? Huh? Most important mucosa is involved or not? That is more important. And flaccid are uh, tense. 28 year old, very painful unilateral erythema on the right flank. Multiple clear fluid filled blisters are there. So, what is the whole issue with him? There is a unilateral dermatomal bicyclic eruption in an adult individual along with severe pain. Some A good number of times as a clinician what you will see is Without any skin lesions, patients come with severe pain doctor, severe, severe pain doctor, they will come to you. So, severe pain along a dermatomal pattern. What will you tell them? Don't worry, another two days wait, you will get lesions also. Right? So, herpes zoster. Chicken pox in childhood, herpes zoster tomorrow in adulthood when the immune system compromises. Why will immune system compromise? Because he is taking steroid for whatever the reason, he may be diabetic, etc, etc. Not always HIV positive. Every guy with herpes zoster, of course, in first year MD, we will be troubling lot of people by asking uncomfortable questions. Just because we know herpes zoster can also occur in HIV. Right? So, the most appropriate, but I found one patient, uh, I can never forget. Uh, uh, Basabarachu, he is a RTC driver, um, he was receiving steroids, he has diabetes, he is also having HIV, found with herpes zoster on the face, big lesion, right. So, 3 in 1 combination also sometimes can occur, right. So, Lymphogranular, but generally multiple causes you are trying to search means you are going towards a wrong diagnosis. Incidentally, you found uh, multiple causes, that is a different story. Huh? So, most appropriate antibiotic therapy in lymphogranuloma venerum is doxy. Then, very few indications are there for the doxy doctor. Remember, tetracycline indications in the pharmacology. Chapati, you must be ready. Right? Tripati, must be ready. Because other antibiotics uh, will not have that few indications. Rick HCA, tetracycline, like that. Okay? Now, Kaposi's varicelliform eruption. This is a classical example of a Kaposi's, just like varicella, you have got an eruption. Varicelliform eruption. Where do you see? There is nothing to do with chicken pox, once more. Hence, it is called varicelli form. So, atopic dermatitis individuals may, you find it. If you do, why it is called Kaposi's varicelli form? It is called because if you happen to do the jank smear, it will show the lesion similar to that of the herpes simplex. And where do you find the Kaposi form? Um, Kaposi's variceliform eruption, Darius, atopic dermatitis, cutaneous T cell lymphoma, and in many autoimmune bullous lesions, not due to varicella. Huh? Now, Favus is caused by Shonlini, is what you need to remember. Tintaxine, DLE, also called carpet traxine. We have already seen this, 
where do you have best progresses? Whenever Pemphigus comes due to autoantibodies transmitted across the placenta from the mother to the child, neonatal Pemphigus, it will be self-limiting. Ganga dhati hai, IgG crosses placenta, IgM does not. So, the maternal antibodies came to the baby leading to neonatal pemphigus, best prognosis. Now, which is not seen in herpes gestationalis, very important question. Herpes gestationalis is also called pemphigoid gestationalis. Pruritic lesions in pregnancy, very high yield topic. Dr. Shilpa taught uh, uh, gynecology Monday to Friday session. Probably she might have taught you. What are, there are totally four conditions leading to pruritus in pregnancy. PUP, PUPP -P -P is one entity. Herpes gestational is another entity. Cholestasis of pregnancy is another entity. Four or five problems will be there, doctor, commonly for every pregnant woman, most of the pregnant women. Some will have pedal edema, some will not have. Her sister in law will have pruritus and she will be waiting. When will pruritus come? It will not come. Her younger sister will have continuous vomiting and she will be worrying why I am not getting vomiting. So, sitting in a gynec obstetrics OPD, very interesting. I mean, in the sense, the questions of the patients. You need to be very empathetic, but 150, 200 OPD of obstetrics, uh, where will you get time to tell? Maybe you will be telling with patients, brinjal is good, no problem. Then she will ask, is papaya is good, is tomato is good. Uh, so, you must be ready with all master chef program. So, herpes gestationalis has nothing to do with herpes. It is HLA DR3, DR4 associated, HLA association. And uh, always important thing. Last pregnancy may, if the pruritus is very bad, this pregnancy, if it is recurring, feature of pemphigoid gestationalis. Now, doctor, um, plaque psoriasis, typically HLA CW6, as already what we have discussed. Nail psoriasis, you are having oil drop sign. How many answered pitting? Nobody. You all thought oil drop only. Oh, very good. You are the great students. Acne egminata. These are the lesions of acne egminata. If you don't remember what to answer or you don't know what to answer, you have TB in the options. TB should be the answer because you are taking Indian, all India postgraduate medical entrance. And TB is all India. Hum is desh ke baasi hai, jis desh mein TB baiti hai. Huh? So, the following test is not used for the diagnosis of leprosy. Leprevin test is only prognostic, not a diagnostic test. HIV may you will use all those tests. Pseudobubos is a feature of denovaniosis. Six month old, erythematous papules, exudative lesions, classical clinical vignette on scabies. Where is the commonest place for herpes gestationalis? Peri umbilical area. Does it have anything to do with herpes? No, it is actually associated. Does it recur? It will recur. Previous history is important. Photochemotherapy, we use Gokerman's regime, Ingram's regime. You are all ready for all that dirt. And first time, first time in exam hall, if you say what is the Gokerman means, clean bowl. Huh? So, Staphylococcal lesion, which is not, very fundamental question. Which are streptococcal, which are staphylococcal, microbiology may. Hmm? Furuncle, impedigo, ectima, these are all staphylococcal. Ectima, gangrenosum is pseudomonas. Hmm? Now, shingle is herpes joster. Joster is different from simplex. Ah, life is miserable. Joster is chicken pox, right? Liver spots are a feature of senility. Argon laser is the one which is selectively absorbed. So, basic definitions, vesicle, pustule, papule, macule, that uh, multiplication table will be there, no. 
arithmetic of uh, dermatology you need to be very sure skin test where will you do doctor typically in case of actually uh, one and four immediate and delayed prick test patch test yeah correction is required commonest fungal infection of female genitalia candida fundamental question satellite lesions borderline tuberculosis molluscum contagiosum pox virus genital elephantiasis due to lymphatic obstruction lymphogranuloma venerum acne commonly is uh, caused by is acne more common in boys or girls but clear sill advertisement mein kaun hai ye muhasum wali is they are necessarily predict a girl kaun hai ye muhasum wali bandha they must uh, tell about a boy no so don't remember clear sill advertisement if it comes to your memory you are out there huh? so uh, androgen is a predisposing factor hypercornification of the bacterial contamination and so we give antibiotic nothing to do with food but lot of people were reticent don't eat those chocolates don't use those greasy foods and ultimately you'll get anorexia nervosa story starts with acne ends in anorexia hmm erythema multiforme is often related to herpes simplex and also the drug hypersensitivity huh Kenny pepper stippling is a feature of there is an entity called plasma cell balanitis of zoon stupid question you can when you come such questions don't become sticky to them like seborrheic keratosis you will you can move forward psoriasis if you do wrong no visa to medical college md visa is rejected for 6 months you have to come on h1 visa what is h1 visa Pay one crore and get in private college is H1. Huh? So, uh, ballooning is a characteristic feature of herpes zoster. For this response, Epstein pearls, they are all transient lesions which occur in pediatric population. They are the ectopic sebaceous glands. We will finish up to 150. Remaining you can review in the literature. 28 year old recurrent multiple oral ulcers with erythematous halo. As medical students who did not suffer after sulcer, show me one. Right? He will become a case study. Porphyria 290 to 340. Wood slamp is 360. So, the numbers to remember. Epidermal cells will be uh, replacing completely every 35 days. That is the reason. How to prepare last 35 days before exam, right? So, uh, is very important. Skin doubling time, 12 weeks. How come epidermal uh, cells of, are replaced by 35 days? This is 12 weeks. They are different actually. You need to review that. Yeah. Patch test is read after. Ah, uh, two days. I think wrong uh, answer. This is wrong. Exclamation marks. Alopecia areata. Secondary syphilis. What is true about rash? Is it pruritic or non pruritic? Non pruritic or pruritic? Coppery lesions, which are? Yeah, I think. Uh, um, that question require better repair. Uh, scarlet fever should be the answer. Correct answer should be A. There are some corrections. I think last 50 questions may too many corrections may be there. Uh, maybe there was a frame shift mutation in the key. Uh, we will try to sort it out. Uh, so, thank you doctor for a patient listening and next week we will get ready with the radiology. Read about TOF, congenital heart disease, uh, so many things in uh, the radiological science. Uh, and uh, globular heart, figure of eight appearance, all those things. Eh? Thank you. And um, uh, from tomorrow, we will be having Monday to Friday session as usual with, uh, I mean, Monday onwards. 
microbiology and pathology will be having uh, alternating days. So, that is the plan. Thank you, doctor. <clears throat>